Hey everybody, welcome to Real Men Craft 2, I'm Richard. So today is Wednesday, March 8th. Can you guys believe it's March 8th already? I can't. Uh, this month is going to just fly by, as well as this year is, I really think. Um, so today I've got friend mail. I think, uh, I think this must be from Debbie uh, Diamond Painting Cajun. Um, one of uh, my subscribers that lives in the heart of Louisiana. So she said, uh, yeah, she has sent me something. Um, this, I believe, is from Kelly Cyberling. Um, this came kind of damaged. Uh, yeah, it came damaged. So hopefully uh, she sent me, Kelly Cyberling said she sent me a book. And speaking of books, um, I'm going to give you guys some info of what I'm reading and you're going to see an update of my work in progress. So come right back after the intro. Hey everybody, welcome back. So uh, speaking of books, sorry, my coffee's super, super hot. Sorry you had to hear me slurp. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show a lot of you what I've been reading. Um, some of you are afraid to go to my booktube channel, which is right here, which is nightmares, anyone. Don't be afraid, you guys. Um, it's nothing scary. Uh, yes, I do read a lot of horror. I read a lot of books. I read tons of books. Um, in fact, this a year already, it's only March, I've already read over 30 books. Uh, yeah, I listen to books. I listen to audio books either on Scribd or through my local library, which I can listen to unlimited audio books for free. It's called Libby. Uh, yeah, it's great. I love to listen to audiobooks while I'm working on diamond painting or working on cross stitch. But uh, speaking of all that good stuff, those of you that are back here to watch my content for today, thank you so much for coming back. Those of you that are new or if this is your first time to the channel, um, I'm Richard. I'm the crazy one who does all the crafting stuff. I've been crafting for over 50 years. Uh, yes, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really that old. Uh, yeah, and uh, I just got, I, I just picked up my love again for cross stitch. And um, yeah, it's, it's just, I, I'm going to show you my uh, Mediterranean. No, I think this is, what is this one called? I should have this one memorized by now, you'd think. This one is called, doo -doo -doo -doo. wow, I'm getting really bad at this. This one is called Mermaid of Atlantis. I don't know why I keep forgetting the, the pattern name to this. But uh, yeah, you guys are gonna be, uh, I think shocked with how far I've come along on her. I haven't even been working on her for a week. So I'm really, really impressed with the progress I've gotten uh, done with her. So let's get into um, some new subscribers that have subscribed to the channel. And like I said, if you uh, are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, and if you do like to craft as much as I do. And if you like the content on my channel, I would love it if you'd hit uh, subscribe. You don't have to, but uh, there is a subscribe button right there. Um, I just turned on this other light. It's kind of bright there. So uh, let's dim that one a little bit. So I'm gonna welcome some new subscribers to the channel. Uh, let me turn that down. Right, let me just turn it off. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know why my lighting is so bad right now. Let me go, sorry you guys. Let's uh, change. There we go, let's go into natural light. So, I wanna welcome some new subscribers to the channel. So in no particular order, let's, 
I want to welcome Finn. Finn, I'm so sorry I did not catch your uh, comment that you sent me a month ago. Somehow it went into my YouTube studio as a message that I hadn't replied to. Uh, yes, thank you so much for the kind words about Bruce. Uh, not feeling well, but yes, we are both fine. The dog, he's doing great. His hair is growing back from his little uh, boo-boo and his surgery. And the cat's just being a pain in my butt. Uh, but that's a whole other story. I'm not going to get into it today. But yeah, I want to welcome Finn, Flo Davis, Anita three, Anita three kids, Carol and Mike Brady. How, how original and classically funny is that? Uh, Roger Davies, Milkman80, and Susie Callis. So everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. However you found me, I'm just glad you found me. Uh, so I'm going to cross these names off. And I am going to open up these packages. Um, yeah, so first off, I want to tell... Uh, Diamond Painting Cajun, Deborah. Thank you so much. Let's get this open. So, uh, I am going to use my little ceramic cutter here, which I love this thing. Love, love, love this little ceramic cutter. They are very, very sharp. So, there's something. Oh, I smell something. Something in here smells spicy. Ooh. I love getting stuff in the mail. I don't care if it's a book that I've ordered, whether it's a gift or surprises. From... <laughs> I love getting stuff in the mail. It's pretty funny. So uh, let's see what this is. Uh, I'm going to throw on my glasses. Yes, like I say all the time, it's a bitch getting old. Uh... <gasps> okay, so um, oh, there's a little card here. Let's read the card first. This gift is handmade. I hope you like it. Hi, Richard. Thank you for supporting me by watching my channel. I really appreciate you and your comments. P.S. I love your channel. Love Diamond Painting Cajun. P.S.S. Don't put the whole pack in. LOL. It's super spicy. Uh-oh. Can never go wrong with anything spicy. Uh, so she must be talking about this here. Oh, it looks spicy. Yeah. So let's see what this says. Uh, cooking with Hal, the Cajun lady accents. After the Mardi Gras, Cajun dry dip. Serve with chips, crackers, veggies, and more. Mix with one and a half cups mayo and one and a half cups sour cream. Add one cup cooked seafood, optional. No, I won't be eating the seafood, but I will add chicken maybe. Add one cup corn, optional. Chill before serving. So. I'm looking forward to that. Bruce won't be able to eat a Deb because he doesn't do spice. So, uh... oh my God, you guys, wait till you see what she made me. Now, we all know that uh, Diamond Painting Cajun is very creative. Now, if you've never been to her channel, here's a link to her channel right here. She's very funny. Uh, she's got not one, but two daughters getting ready to get married. So she's actually going crazy and pulling her hair out, getting ready for this uh, <laughs> event. It, it is an event when anybody gets married. But you guys, I'm going to show you what she made me. Let's see. I don't think you have to tear these bags open. I think there's a way you can open them without... You guys, this is so cool. So, so, so cool. Uh, this is so cool. Ouch, poke my eyeball with her with her little card. So, oh, I gotta show you guys something. After 21 years, look what I got. Yes, Bruce gave it to me the other night. It's gorgeous. It's got 28 diamonds in it and this big one right here yeah it's a it's pretty big i love it yes i love it so keychain 
uh, please do not drop. Please do not knock against hard surfaces. Clean with soft cloth. Avoid prolonged contact with extreme heat. Handmade with love. Please handle with care. Uh, I have not taken it out yet, but I love this. So Debbie knows. Debbie, I think you all know that I'm a Disney freak. This is so cool. I'm not gonna ask how you do it. I'm sure this is resin, poured resin. With, uh, there's a diamond, uh, or there's a castle in there with Mickey's uh, <laughs> image. I love this, I love this. It's got a, a, a little captain's clip. But uh, yeah, and this is going Oh, it's on stretchy cord, I think. This is going on my keychain. Yeah. It's about the size of my hand. It's pretty good size, you guys. And it's very lightweight. So yeah, this is going on my keychain. So Debbie, thank you so much. Uh, your package went out yesterday. You should be getting it. So I love this. Deb, thank you so, so much. Uh, now let's see what's in this. I'm going to put this back in here real quick. See, these bags are really, really cool. I like these bags. And it says thank you right there. Uh, I'm not going to put this back in here because I'm going to make that as soon as I get this video up and posted. So uh, I was talking about books earlier, what I'm reading. So this next item is a book. And this is from... Kelly Cyberling, she's one of my subscribers here on the channel, and she's also a subscriber to my my booktube channel, Nightmares Anyone, but she doesn't read horror. She's scared to read horror. In fact, I've got her so scared right now to look in a mirror, I don't know why. But um, this is what I've been reading. I started it uh, a couple nights ago. I'm almost done, I only got, I only have like 46 pages left. This is the first Disney Prince novel. This is Prince of Song and Sea. Actually, it's such a great book. Uh, it's gonna be a five-star read for me. Just a great, great book. Um, I'm to the part where the sea witch, I'm not gonna give any spoilers away, but she is trying to kill Prince Eric uh, because of a curse, a family curse, and uh, she is bound to de determined to get revenge on Eric and his family for uh, something that happened between them. Great book, great read. If you've got kids, it's a perfect book for anybody. Uh, so let's get into what this, this package is here. So hopefully, yeah, this came pretty tore up from the postal carrier. So uh, hopefully it's gonna be fine. Um, I'm more concerned about the stickiness. Hopefully it's, it's uh, this is from World, Better World Books. Yeah, so hopefully the way they package this, it's not going to get ruined. So let's uh, open this. Wow, it's really uh, sticky inside. Hopefully it did not damage the book. So Kelly, it's kind of funny, Kelly said, oh, I'm gonna send you a book, I'm sure you don't have this book. Girl, I've been buying books for 55 years. Oh, she was right, I don't have this book. Um, yeah, see, the inside of this package is very sticky. Um, why would, I don't know why they would package a book that way. But uh, hopefully the book's not damaged. It doesn't look like it is. It looks like it was formerly. Oh yeah, it was. It was a. It looks like it was a library book. Uh, so thank goodness it had the cover on it. <sighs> Very cool book. Very cool book. Yes, Kelly, you were right. I do not have this book. So this is called Pennsylvania Ghost Stories. There is an image in a holograph cover of the front. It looks like, oh yeah, it looks like a girl. You can see the dress right here. It looks like a ghost coming forward. 
But Pennsylvania Ghost Stories, the the big book of Pennsylvania Ghost Stories, uh, yeah. Um, I like I like a good short story. Um, I love to read ghost stories. I love haunted house stories. So Kelly, thank you so much. Yes, I don't have that book, so that is soon going on my bookshelf in my office. So you guys know that I've been working on my, uh, like I said earlier, my uh, Mermaid of Atlantis. I'm going to pop the camera around here. I'm going to switch you guys around. I'm going to flip you down forward here. So we are going to go now. Here we go. So here is the pattern. Uh, I knew I was going to do that. I just lost my mark on here. So I did flip the pattern over. I'm working on the lower half of the mermaid. So uh, I am going to wait to do all the beads at the end because when I roll my piece up on this, uh, my, my roll frames, I don't want the beads to smash and indent in the fabric. So here she is. You guys look how much I've got done. She's absolutely beautiful. Yes, she's gorgeous. The colors in this piece are just stunning. The gold thread, that artiste thread, such a pleasure to work with this. Great, great, great thread to work with. It doesn't, oh, look at that ring. My ring is just, ooh, super, super, super sparkly. Uh, yeah, but she's beautiful. This is all gonna be beads. These are all blue beads. These are green beads in her hair. And then all through here, these are where the red beads and the pink and purple beads are gonna go. Um, so yes, I'm very, very, very excited. I'm actually very proud of myself. Uh, the, the work, the progress that I've got on her is coming along really, really, really good. I know a lot of you have been asking me, Richard, why don't you do a work in progress, you know, a, a whip and chat. It's not that I don't like doing whip and chats. I can't get my camera in a great position to uh, show you while, all, while I'm stitching. But with me saying that, I'm going to try right now. So let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna put you on uh, pause for a second. I'm gonna put the camera back in the mounting bracket and we'll see if this works. Hang on. So let's see if you guys can see what I'm doing. You should be able to. It's just that uh, I use my magnifying light or my magnifying ring, my, my lamp. So that has to go between my work and I have my camera mounted up above right here. So uh, let's uh, do a little bit of whip and chat. So I am working this piece on 18 count. Um, I have not worked 18 count in forever. Yeah, years and years and years, actually. Um, so I am going, since I pulled pulled off my, uh, my marker where I was, I need to find my place back in my pattern, which won't be hard. Uh, I just have to count down some rows here. So I'm looking at two, two, and then a five. So, uh, as I spoke really quick there, so the easiest way to do it, uh, if I look at this two right here, like I said, I, I talk to myself in code words, so when I did this part right here, I just said two and then four singles, which is one, two, three, four. And then I did two and four singles. Well, if you look at this row that I'm on right here, if you look across, it's at number one, two, three of the four. So I can just find this first section right here on my pattern, look at the third stitch down, which is one, two, three, and just go straight across and find that one and three. So, 
I know it's pretty it's pretty crazy how we talk we come up with code words and stuff, but it actually does work. It I found the three with the five right above it. So uh I'll show you all how I mark my patterns. So I just put my marker here. So if you notice this little magic wand, uh, pat this little magic wand, let me grab my all so I can point to you what I'm talking about. So this little symbol here is the color that I'm working on now. So remember I told you I had to find the three and one uh, right above it. But here's the one and the three, and then the five right above it. So here's the third one down, one, two, three. So I just went straight across, and that was the last row I stitched. So I moved my magnet down. So now I'm going to do three, skip one, one. Uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. Like I said, I come up with code words, and uh, it's funny because as we do cross-stitch, we learn to talk to ourselves in code words because it just helps. Uh, it helps us. I don't know. I, 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 I've always done it. And uh, when I used to teach, I used to teach this, you know, people taking my classes, uh, you're going to learn how. And they did. A, a, a lot of them that I still communicate with today they still use code words and and weird little languages that they uh use for themselves so the pattern calls for three dryer just went off so i've got three skip one i'm going to skip this next stitch and then I've got one. Uh, somebody emailed me the other day and they said, Richard, I really, really, really want to learn how to cross stitch, but I don't think I would understand it. It's actually very, it, it, it's not hard to learn counted cross stitch. I can't imagine ever doing a stamped cross stitch because um, I would be dreaded, I, I would dread having to wash that print, you know, the stamping off. And I think where I'm so used to looking at a fabric right here, I can't imagine looking at one of those awful printed things that have all those bright colors that don't even match whatever you're working on. Um, so yeah, I can't imagine ever doing one of those stamped cross stitches. I just can't. So next row down is one and a skip so it's just two greens i know i'm left-handed but i stitch right-handed so i always work from the upper right to the left yes i know we read left to right but cross stitch this was how my grandmother taught me how to do it when i was like seven years old and I've done it that way ever since. But of course, like I said before, when uh, I'm talking to you guys while I'm stitching, it's so much different than when I'm not talking, if I'm just listening to a book, because I can go four times quicker than I can when I'm talking. Don't ask me why. It's just weird. So I do use a rounded tip needle and I'll show you what the rounded tip needle looks like. We all know what a pointed needle is because we've all poked ourselves with needles. Um, this is just my preference. This is how I do cross stitch. I love using a rounded tip needle because if you look here, these are holes. This round tip goes right into the hole. And very seldom will you go anywhere but in a hole because it doesn't separate, you know, into the center very easily. You really have to push. So when I'm working from the bottom up, it'll just like automatically go into the hole. 
you know, it just, yeah, it, it, it doesn't uh, damage your fabric. And we all know the trick that if we start to stretch our holes, we just run our finger or a dull surface across the fabric and it closes them right back up. So I'm gonna go back to stitching this. Uh, I'm really impressed with how far I've gotten on her. She's coming out absolutely gorgeous. And uh, speaking of gorgeous, I talked to a dear friend, uh, Brittany, who lives up in Vancouver, BC. She has been a follower of mine for three years. She and I became um, what we call online crushes. She's a beautiful, beautiful young lady who lives in Vancouver, BC. She is in the medical field and uh, I hadn't talked to her in a couple months and we communicated through text and uh, messaging through this morning. So it was great. Brittany, I'm glad uh, I got to talk to you. It was uh, great. Um, this is where I tore the flesh off my knuckle the other night when Bruce and I went to dinner at the casino. I tore the, I tore the hell out of my skin on my knuckle. So yeah, I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna uh, get back to stitching her. So I just wanna tell you all, thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by Real Men Craft 2. Um, I'm gonna turn this light off. Uh, but once again, if you haven't done so already and you do like crafting as much as I do, please uh, think of hitting that subscribe button. It's gonna show up right there or right about there. I'm kind of backwards here looking at uh, through my camera. But um, yeah, she's, she's coming along great and she's absolutely gonna be beautiful. So uh, yeah, there is my Mermaid of Atlantis so far. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking time out of your day and stopping by. And once again, don't be afraid to stop by Nightmares, anyone. It's a, it's, I have a lot of fun on the BookTube channel. So you guys take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your week. Be kind to others. Uh, just, you know, live your life one day at a time. Don't rush. Uh, we get one life. Enjoy it while you have it. Um, and, hey, take care, you guys. I'm Richard with Real Men at Craft 2. She's actually really pretty. Cannot wait to start putting the beads in. Take care, you guys. And once again, thank you. A huge thank you to Diamond Painting Cajun, Debbie. Um, in Louisiana, and Kelly Cyberling from Pennsylvania. Thanks, girls, for the gifts. Uh, it means the world to me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.